let me just introduce you to all our viewers, Glyn, because you are one of the 33 customers that uh, had the opportunity of building your, your dream car. Yes. <laughs> your, uh, you you customized it uh, according to your wishes, as all of us car enthusiasts dream of doing. And thank you also for being here. We are uh, in uh, the historic headquarters of Alfa Romeo in Arese, near Milano in Italy, to share with all of you uh, your amazing experience. Well, thank you, it's an honor to be here and especially with the backdrop of these historic cars. Yeah, it's great, yeah. And beautiful. The Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale is very special. Only 33 cars will be built. And today I've had the opportunity to meet one of the customers that bought one. Inside the buildings of Arese, where now you can visit the Alfa Romeo Historical Museum, there is a very peculiar place. A meeting room used in the past by the company executives and where the first customers of the new 33 Stradale started to know about the new car, where they began to customize their own cars in partnership with the Alfa Romeo designers. This room now is known as Bottega, an Italian word used for all the small shops and laboratories where you can find work of craftsmanship everywhere in Italy. But Alfa Romeo is not only a matter of beautiful style or nice materials. The history of this iconic brand is related to speed and competition. And that's where Mr. Blomquist belongs, because of his job in the car racing field and for his passion. It was at a Formula 1 Grand Prix in Austin, Texas, that the first idea of owning the new 33 Stradale took place. And then, there is also a special link between the Alfa Romeo brand and another very famous Italian name in the business. Let's know more about this. So, racing cars are uh, your, your passion, I, I, I guess. Uh, which is your relationship with, uh, with motorsport? Well, of course, uh, it started out with my association as a sponsor for Indy cars mm -hmm. back in the early 1990s. But then, of course, now it's Formula One, and of course, wow, this car I think was undefeated, maybe, yeah. <laughs> and never been beat. And uh, so you you started with uh, Indy cars, and uh, and your your history with the Alfa Romeo uh, is there a, like a turning point? in which uh, you, you yeah. realized you, your, your love for this brand? Well, two real two turning points. One turned into something, but one created the passion. When I read uh, the book about, you know, Enzo Ferrari yes. uh, by Del Monte. Luca ah, Luca Del Monte, Del Monte. Uh, Ferrari Rex. Yeah, the uh -huh. not big book. Yeah, he is a, a colleague of mine, Luca. Really? I know him. Yeah. Wow, and what I, a wonderful book. Yeah, I, I know that book, yeah. Yeah. So that's where, you know, I read the history okay. in Enzo Ferrari driving for mm. Alfa Romeo and the association. I became fascinated. And then when I had a chance firsthand at uh, Circuit of the Americas mm -hmm. Formula One car race in Austin okay. to run some hot laps in a quarterfolio, then I got, wow, yeah. this, is, this brand is, is exciting. Yeah. And for all of you that had the opportunity to come here in Italy, there, there is here uh, uh, a section of the museum with this link between Ferrari and, and Alfa Romeo. But here, of course, we are uh, in front of the 33 Stradale, the original one that also inspired you for, for, your, uh, uh, for your new supercar. And uh, at the beginning, in the introduction, we saw the Tipo 33 with the, with the white stripe. And uh, of course, you're passionate about uh, racing car motorsport. Uh, did you also choose other details on your car, talking about uh, uh, the, the way that the car looks around? Yeah, absolutely. Of course, it had to be Rosso, right? Yeah. It had to <laughs> Rosso be Rosso Alfa, yeah. Yeah, Rosso Alfa, because that to me, for me, no other yeah. color. <laughs> uh, and then again, the interior, uh, very, for the 1960s, okay. a very unique design of uh, the two Iconic tone, seats. Yeah. Uh, iconic seats, and so. We kind of mirrored that with modern materials of the leather combined with Alcantara, mm. but to give that same effect, that same visual effect of the car, and added a number to the car okay. because uh, race cars have yeah. numbers, right? Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're cool. And we, which is the, the number? Number 14, yeah. which is uh, 
the number that Enzo Ferrari drove for Alfa Romeo okay. uh, a long time ago, and yeah. also the number that A.J. Foyt uh, from Texas, one of my heroes, uh, mm -hmm. one of the best American drivers ever, also number 14. So that's that's how that happened. Yeah, and uh, it, 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 there was also maybe a moment in in, you, in which you, you saw other Alfa Romeos or you drove other Alfa Romeos and that, that you maybe have um, some uh, good memories or uh, apart from the Trento Testadale that of course is famous also in other locations like Pebble Beach or I don't know, yeah. Yeah, well of course my best memory is every day when I drive, every day I drive my Quadrifoglio ah, yeah. uh, every day. Yeah. You know, it's a great, it's perfect. It's mm -hmm. got, you know, a back seat and a trunk, but and yet passion, yeah. you know. Yeah, soul, personality, performance. Yes. So that, that's your, and, and also, uh, of course, uh, you, you are, you're into the, the racing world, so you also think that um, uh, maybe Alfa Romeo should, uh, I don't know, make other future steps with this kind of uh, uh, relationship that you had with as a, as a customer, maybe mm -hmm. also in, in the racing world. Who well, knows? Sure. Yeah. I mean, Alfa Romeo means racing. It's iconic. You know, been racing longer than anyone. Yeah. <laughs> so. so yeah. Uh, Thank you again for coming here. Is this the first time you 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 are here in the? No, in it's it's not it's not the first, but I, I it's yeah. wonderful every time. Yeah. Especially seeing this yeah. beautiful car. And this is usually this is the place that Trento Testa because it's the jewel, the final. Yeah. You know, the, the the people come here and then arise in this uh, in this uh, place to 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 look at it. So we are. We're looking forward also to, to look at your car when it's on, on in the flesh. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Today we, we saw a lot of interesting details that you, you have already seen. We, we tried to, uh, to tell you all about this, uh, uh, this experience also from on your side of being part of the, of, the, of the way that this car was born. It was a different experience, I, I think, than buying another, another new car. Yes, yeah. I mean, I feel I have a stewardship for the brand. I mean, to protect the brand, honor the brand uh, with this great new creation. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And enjoy your stay here in Italy. Okay, thank you. Thanks.